All right, shalom, shalom, boys here. Well, um, uh, what am I doing today? I'm, I'm coming to pick up some meat birds, but I wanted to uh, tell y'all about a, you know some great deals that you can get out there. Now, out in the country, uh, in Western Kentucky, we have a store called Rural King. In Rural King, uh, you can buy feed, you can buy uh, supplies, you can buy pretty much anything you need um, for yourself or um, you can buy guns. I mean, you can just be, pretty much buy anything. But in addition to that, you can buy ducks. You can buy specialty breeds. You can uh, buy uh, meat birds. You can buy turkeys. They have all of this stuff on sale here. Okay. But the beautiful thing about this is that, you know, we don't have to go and purchase our meat birds online because Rural King throughout the entire year has a supply of meat birds. OK, so what we do is we just come in here and buy the meat birds. But th this is the catch. You see, you have a minimum of six for a dollar ninety nine. But the beautiful thing about these is because they are larger birds. They sell it to their customers for 99 cents a bird. So I am about to purchase 10 birds at 99 cents a bird, okay? Now you say, why is it that they would sell the birds that are larger? Why would they sell them for 50% uh, uh, off, right? And and this is due to the simple fact that, you know, uh, uh, the, you know the, the idea is that you're supposed to buy meat birds when they were... They are baby chicks, right? Something real small. And then you're supposed to grow them up. But my logic is the total opposite. Uh, they've been cultivating these meat birds here. And, of course, the larger they are, the more likely they are to survive the winter. Okay? Or survive the growing season. So, uh, here, you know, if you have a rural king, if you have a store like this, go ahead and wait for those meat birds to get a little fatter and then you go ahead and buy them uh, uh, on the cheap. I'll go ahead most likely in a uh, couple of weeks um, once I transition 10 birds that I have. Uh, go and get some more meat birds, but I'll always purchase these meat birds um, uh, at a dollar a piece. Now, I get, it's amazing, inflation, huh? No inflation here. But you got to know how to find deals as opposed to spending $2 for one of these and they're both meat birds so uh just a little uh, idea that you can implement go ahead and get your meat birds from your local uh hatchery you don't have to worry about uh shipping costs or anything like that and uh you get to raise your own meat birds and the beautiful thing self-sufficiency baby